All right, Paul, let's look at the coronavirus numbers. State reporting 15,385 new cases. That's a two-day total, so the average standing at 7,600 cases per day. As we expected, it did bounce up from the weekend numbers when fewer people are tested. We've lost 351 more Michiganders to the virus. That includes 185 from a vital records review. But encouraging news from Pfizer on its vaccine and the Omicron variant today. The company announced this morning that preliminary research suggests its booster shots are effective against the new variant. But they warn just two doses may not be sufficient. Our Dr. Frank McGeorge is here live to break down what we know so far. Doc? Yeah, Kim and Devin, so I want to caution, of course, these are very early results that have not been peer reviewed. And frankly, we haven't seen the actual data, just the headlines. However, Pfizer says its initial studies do offer hope that its current vaccines may offer adequate protection if you've received three doses. Scientists at Pfizer looked at blood samples in the lab from people who had received two doses of its vaccine and found they had much lower antibody levels against the Omicron variant. However, blood samples taken from people one month after a booster suggested much better protection. Three doses against Omicron are almost equivalent to the two doses effectiveness we had against the, the wild type, the original variant. So These are very good news. Pfizer CEO Albert Bourla says if an updated vaccine is needed, his company can produce one possibly as soon as March. If we need a new vaccine, those tests are telling me that we will be able to have a very good one if we need one against Omicron, because really we're able with some tweaks to produce way higher results. I'm not sure we will need it because very, uh, it's, it's one very likely scenario that the current booster will be enough to maintain protection. While a third dose may be needed to prevent infection from Omicron, Pfizer says two doses may still protect against severe disease and death. Pfizer is also studying whether children in the 12 to 15 age bracket need boosters or not, since they tend to have higher antibody levels initially than adults. That data could be available sometime next week. Now, this is just one piece of a very large puzzle, and we expect to hear the rest of the government's lab tests next week. Plus, hopefully there will be more real world data from South Africa as the variant continues to spread there. The bottom line here, though, is this is encouraging, but there is, of course, much more to be learned. Well, Doc, help me understand something. So if a new booster could be ready to go by March, essentially three months away, why are you and other health officials encouraging people to get this existing booster now? Why not just wait? Yeah, good point. You know, first, we probably need that extra protection right now because we're dealing largely with Delta and we need to reduce the number of breakthrough infections. And we're already seeing some cases of Omicron in the U.S. Of course, secondly, we may not need to update the booster. Mm -hmm. That's something that we need to find out. We may actually get sufficient protection from the original vaccine. And finally, just because a new booster could be made by March does not mean we would be getting it in March. Mm -hmm. It would actually still need to go through several regulatory steps to really be distributed nationwide. Yeah. Okay. Doc, thank you.